Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to boost your performance in latency by changing your hidden bio settings using a different method called Grub. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe. I know it's been a while since I've posted, and it's because I've been really busy with school. But we're deciding to make a comeback now, and we'll be posting every Mondays at 5 p.m. East. If you have any content suggestions, make sure to join my Discord server, which will be linked in the description below, and you can suggest what type of content or videos you want to see. So the method we'll be using today is called Grub. It's a lot more complicated and harder to set up than skewing, so make sure you follow the video correctly but if you have a motherboard that isn't compatible with skewing then using grub would most likely work for your motherboard and once you learn and understand how to use it it makes the process a hundred times easier and nicer than using skewing now for this method you're gonna need an empty USB and you also want to join my discord server which will be linked in the description below once you join you want to head over to the resources channel right here and then in here you want to click on the first link for links for grub and then you want to download the UEFI tool 164. Make sure you get the tool and not the find or the extract version. Once you get that, you want to add over to IFR extractor and download the Win32 version right here and extract it. Then you want to get the setup for that EFI and download that right here. And then you want to get the setup for builder, the EXE version right here. And then once you get that, you need a UEFI shell. Now, you can use the 24H2 or the 25H1. In this video, I use the 25H1. And you just want to get the shell x64.efi file. You're also going to need your motherboard's BIOS file. So, to get that, you want to click Windows key R, type msinfo32. And then in here, under baseboard product, you should be able to see your motherboard. And then under BIOS version slash date, you should be able to see your BIOS version. I'm just going to search up what my motherboard is and put BIOS at the end of it. Once I do that, I'm going to click on the link, go to drivers and downloads. I'm going to click BIOS and then under here, I'm going to look for my BIOS version. Now, usually what you see in here for BIOS version should show up under whatever link or website you have for your motherboard. For me, it doesn't because MSI is a little weird. So I can also go into my BIOS and manually check the BIOS version as well. If you don't know what your BIOS version is at all, you should just flash your BIOS and update it to get the latest version or whatever version you want, and then use that file for this video. Now once you have everything downloaded, you want to put it on your desktop to make things much easier. You also want to make sure your, your IFR extractor.exe is in a folder, so create a folder and put it in there if you don't have one already. Once you do that, you want to make sure your USB stick is empty, so you're going to want to hold shift and right click on your Windows button on the bottom left. Click Disk Management, go to where your USB is, right click it, click Format, make sure you have the volume label set to whatever you want, file system to NTFS, perform quick format and click OK, then OK again. And then this will basically just clear your entire USB drive and make it empty for us to use. Now that your USB stick is empty, we're just going to set it up real quick. You want to go to File Explorer and then find your USB. In here, you want to drag the setupvar.efi file onto the USB. You're going to right click anywhere, click new and folder. You're going to type EFI in all uppercase. And then in here, you're going to create a new folder called boot in all uppercase. And then you want to open that folder, drag the shell x64.efi on top of it. In here, you're going to want to rename the shell x64 to boot x64 in all uppercase and that's just going to make our USB bootable. Now we're done with those two files that we had just put into our USB so you can delete it off your PC if you want now. What we're going to do is open the UEFI tool.exe as administrator. In here we're going to look for our BIOS file that we had just downloaded and you want to drag it on top of the UEFI tool. Once you do that, you want to click Control F on your keyboard and then go over to text and you just want to search up any BIOS setting that's within your motherboard. So for example, you could type XHCI handoff or maybe hyper threading, something that's common or something that you know that's for sure within your BIOS. For me, I know native ASPM is in my BIOS, so I'm going to type that and then click OK. Once I do that, I should be able to see Unicode text and then the setting that I just typed in. Once I do that, I'm going to double click that. And then in here, you're going to see PE32 image something something. You want to right click that, click extract as is. I'm going to go over to my IFR extractor folder that I just made. 
and then in here I'm gonna name this file anything I want I'm just gonna name it ansel.sct I'm gonna click save and then I'm gonna close out of the UEFI tool now that I did that I'm gonna open the IFR extractor folder right here I'm gonna click on the directory I'm gonna type CMD I'm gonna click enter and then in here I'm gonna type dot backslash IFR extractor quotation marks my file that I just made so ansel.sct quotation marks and verbose at the end once I do that I'm gonna click enter and it's gonna extract all my bio settings right here then I could close out of this file and I should have all my bio settings in a txt file right here now instead of manually changing each setting like the old grub method or like how you do in skewing we're gonna open our setup var.builder exe right here as administrator in here we're gonna go to file open and then we're gonna look for our bow settings that we had just extracted in the txt file then we're gonna click open right here and this is basically just gonna load all of your bio settings in here now if you don't know which bio settings to change i have two guides which are in my discord server which again is linked in the description below i want to head over to the bios channel and then go over to pin messages and then in here there's one for amd and one for intel you can follow this guide and set them and this should be able to increase your performance and lower your latency to actually change the setting you just click on the drop down box or you can type in a value if the setting requires a value and set it to whatever you want if you want to search up a setting as well, you can type the setting into your search bar, like LTR for example. And say I want to disable all of these ones that say LTR, I can click exact match only to narrow it down. And then I could put set all two to disabled on the top and then click apply. And it should be able to set all these to disabled, which is way nicer than just going into a grub the text file or SQ1 and just manually doing it over and over again. Now once you do that, you want to click file and save. Once you save all of your bio settings that you had just set, you want to go over to your USB and then you want to save the file into here. Now once you have done everything, your USB should look something like this. You have your setup var.efi, your script with all of your bio settings, your EFI folder, your boot folder, and then your bootable EFI. Once you have that, you want to go over to your power button and in here you want to want to hold shift and click on restart once you do that that's going to take you into a windows advanced startup which will look something like this you want to click use a device and then select your usb that you just made once you boot into your usb you're going to see a shell that looks something like this you want to type this exact command in there so dot backslash setup var dash script dot nsh it's going to look something like this and then you're going to click enter and this is basically going to apply all of your bio settings once you do that you can shut down your pc and open it back up and all of your bio settings that you had just changed should be imported now that's really it for today's video if you enjoyed it make sure to like and subscribe as i will be posting more videos like this on mondays at 5 p.m east if you have any content suggestions please join my discord server which is linked in the description below it takes a lot of time out of the recording process and uploading so i'll be able to get videos to you guys faster tailored to your needs but yeah that's really it for today see you in the next one